Hi, welcome to Amanda's Book Corner. I'm Amanda, and this is my review of Life Begins on Friday by Ioana Parvulescu. A few years ago, my sister was in Bucharest, which is in Romania, and she decided to get me a little souvenir, and she ended up picking out a book that was originally written in Romanian and had been translated to English. So this is the first book I've read that's translated from Romanian. It's also the first book I've read that's actually set in Romania. So I was really excited to dive in, especially because it's such a special gift for my sister. Life Begins on Friday is set in the final 13 days of the year 1897. It's set in Bucharest, and it follows a series of different characters going about their lives as the year comes to an end, but there's also a little bit of mystery and a very interesting character who seems to have been displaced in time. That accidental time traveler is a man named Dan Kretsu, and he's from the future, and he doesn't know how he ended up in 1897, but there he is. He was found barely conscious, rather close to another man who appeared to have been shot and possibly dead. So because there seems to be a murder mystery on their hands, and also because Dan Kretzu doesn't have any papers and seems to be very strange and doesn't really talk like normal people in 1897 Bucharest, he's a man of interest, but the police can't quite figure out what his deal is, what's going on, where he comes from, why he's so weird, and so there's a lot of mystery surrounding him. But this mystery isn't the only thing at the center of this book. There are also some other characters who are going through rather more normal life experiences. One is a young woman named Yulia who has a crush on the guy and wants to see if she can have a relationship with him. There's also a young boy named Miku who is hoping that he has the winning lottery ticket so he can win some money. He's very poor, which is why he at eight years old is already working basically full time. And he lives with his mother who is mentally unwell. Life Begins on Friday is divided into 13 chapters, one for each day, and each chapter is divided into subchapters, each of which follows a different character or set of characters. Two of the characters, Yulia and Dan, have first-person narratives, whereas the rest of them have only third-person narratives. There's a certain writing style to Life Begins on Friday. I can't quite put my finger on it, but it definitely reminds me of some classic novels that I read when I was an English major in college. Incidentally, one of the main characters, Yulia, is reading Vanity Fair, and now I read Vanity Fair about a decade ago when I was in my English major program. I don't remember it super well, but, and I might be misremembering a little bit, and I might be drawing comparisons just because of its mention in this book, but I feel, if I'm not mistaken, I feel like Life Begins on Friday could be compared to Vanity Fair in terms of a certain writing style, in, sort of, in terms of the wide cast of characters, maybe in terms of the kind of quirky style that it has. Again, I might be misremembering Vanity Fair, so don't quote me on all of that, but I couldn't help but see comparisons between what Yuli was reading in her book versus what was happening in this book. Out of the wide cast of characters, I think my favorites were Yulia, who is the young woman that I was just talking about, Niku, who is a young boy, Dan Gretzu, the man at the center of all this mystery, Gostash, who is the police chief investigating everything, and to a certain degree, probably Alexandru as well, who is the maybe love interest of Yulia. I will be honest, there's a lot going on in this book, and I feel, personally, I feel like I would have liked it a little bit more if it was a little bit tighter in terms of which characters we were following. I feel like there were a few extra characters that really didn't add much to the story, and I think if the book had been a little bit more focused on the main characters who had the most story going on, incidentally, primarily my favorite characters, I think if it had been a little bit more focused on them, I think the pacing of the book would have been better throughout, and I think it would have done a better job of holding my complete interest. As it was, it kind of wavered from chapter to chapter, and for that reason it was hard for me to maintain a consistent level of interest. But even so, I actually really enjoyed the book. It was kind of hard for me to get into in terms of just how many characters there were and in terms of the writing style, but something about it just had this kind of quirky, fun quality that really kept me enchanted, and I actually really enjoyed the whole story, apart from some slower parts that I didn't think really added to it that much. I also really enjoyed getting to know Bucharest circa 1897. I've never been to Romania, but I would love to go there someday, so Bucharest is really high on my list of places I'd like to travel to in person, but I would also love to read more books that are set in Romania and specifically in Bucharest, but also the surrounding areas as well. I think it's a really interesting country, and it holds some special interest for me. In the end, Life Begins on Friday is a very quirky and interesting little story. It's set during the holidays, right around Christmas and New Year's, and so it's good if you want a holiday read. I guess I read it about a month too late, but that's okay. But it's definitely unique and has its own personality. And although it's a little bit of a weird novel, I still think it was enjoyable and something that I would recommend to people. In the end, I gave it three and a half stars. 
And special thanks to my sister for getting this book for me. I feel honored that I got a book all the way from Bucharest and I was happy to read it. So I hope you enjoyed this book review video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And to make sure you don't miss any more of my videos, please ring the bell to get all my notifications. I put out about two to three book review videos like this one every week, as well as one to two additional videos every week. So thanks for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!